Fundamental Rights Available to Citizens of India Introduction Many citizens in India do not know their fundamental right, which is available to them only. Here are the rights are given by the Constitution of India. Right to freedom of speech and expression, right to assemble peaceably, right against exploitation and discrimination on religion, race, caste, or sex. All these rights are created for citizens so that they can live peacefully. Some fundamental rights are only available to the Indian citizens, which provides prohibition of discrimination and equality of opportunity. These rights include the rights of minorities and the protection of citizens' freedom. What are the fundamental rights? Fundamental rights are those rights that are not absolute but conditional. They are the ones that the government can rescind in case of a serious reason like war or national emergency. Some of the fundamental rights can be abridged under Article 19, Freedom of Speech and Expression, and 14, Right Against Exploitation and Discrimination on the Grounds of Religion, Race, Caste, or Sex. But they can be done under exceptional circumstances as per Article 192. Article 19, 2, is an exception to Articles 19 and 21a. The circumstances for Indian citizenship at the beginning of the Indian Constitution are given straightforwardly in the Constitution of India itself, Articles 5 to 11. The Citizenship Act has been revised on different occasions, the most recent correction being the Disputable Citizenship Amendment Act 2019. Freedoms are the social cases without which a man can't do everything he can for the general public. The fundamental rights ensured by Articles 14, 20, 21, 21a, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 are accessible to all people, whether residents or outsiders. The fundamental rights ensured by Articles 15, 16, 19, 29, and 30 are accessible just to residents of India. As the fundamental rights are completely secured and made for the easy life of the citizens, these are some of the fundamental rights for the citizens and the non-citizens discussed above. Citizen and Citizenship Act 1955. Citizen means a natural-born Indian or of Indian origin who has acquired citizenship through registration, naturalization, Jew solely. The Citizenship Act 1955 is a law of India that determines the persons who are considered nationals of India and those who qualify for India's citizenship. The Act also details the procedures for an individual to acquire Indian citizenship, renounce Indian citizenship, and an Indian national to register their overseas residence with the government. The Citizenship Act 1955 provides that an individual who has ordinarily resided in India for seven years years within the past 10 years can apply for Indian citizenship. Each state of India has its law to acquire citizenship. In states like Assam and Jammu and Kashmir, there is no provision where you can acquire citizenship through naturalization. Fundamental rights available only to the citizens are. The following articles include the fundamental rights available only to the citizens of India. Article 15, Article 16, Article 19, Article 29, and Article 30. Article 15. The Act is about prohibiting discrimination and equality of opportunity for citizens. It prohibits discrimination against Indians based on religion, race, caste, sex, or place of birth. It makes it mandatory to treat all Indians equally. Article 16. This article is about equal employment opportunities for all. It provides equal opportunity in matters of public employment regardless of caste, religion, or sex. Article 19. This article is about the protection of the freedom of citizens. It gives every citizen the right to freedom of speech and expression, assembly peaceably, to form associations, protection against arrest and detention in certain cases, and protection against defamation. Article 29. This article protects the rights of minorities. It gives minorities the right to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice. It also provides that a religious institution would continue to receive government aid even if the state does not recognize it. Article 30. This article allows all religious denominations and sections of people to establish and administer free and charitable institutions for providing relief to the poor, education, and medical relief. You ought to be an Indian citizen to vote in elections. The challenge in elections, associated with Article 16. 
hold any established posts of the nation, similar to the president, vice president, governor, pastors, judges, and so on, associated with Article 16. Get any advantages from the public authority given distinctly to the residents of India. Conclusion. Fundamental rights play a significant role in an individual's life and can be defined as rights for all the problems an individual faces, from day-to-day life to racial class. If anyone does not follow the fundamental rights, you can file a case in the Supreme Court. According to the fundamental rights, you have all the power to visit the Supreme Court anytime, if you feel it is needed. Being aware of your fundamental rights is vital these days as the violation has been in a surge. The article provides a brief about the fundamental rights of the citizens and offers a detailed guide on one's fundamental rights. Thank you.